Oh hi, welcome to this Swift UI tutorial on Swift UI view background colour. I've started with a basic Swift UI app and I'll just fire that up so you can see what we start off with. Yeah, we've got a black text and a white background. So if we want to enlarge that text, what I can do is I can type dot font dot large title. Okay, you can see we've got a larger black text now on a white background. But let's say I wanted to change this background color to blue. You can type in color dot blue. Now if I fire this up, you should see that this doesn't give the desired effect because yeah, it pushes the text view below the blue UI view. So what I need to do there is put these items in a Z stack, which allows us to overlay views. Okay. Yeah, we've got the desired result. We've got the black text and the blue background. So let's just say we wanted to also change the color of these areas at the top and the bottom, the safe areas to blue. So what we need to do with those is we just need to go to our color, type in edge and dot all. Okay. So there we go. Now we've, we've got the blue background, but if we wanted to change that text because it doesn't really stand out, anymore we can go to text type foreground color and we'll change that to dot yellow run that okay great so we've got a yellow text now and a blue background something else that i often use was, was something called color literal i don't know if you've used that so if you type in color literal, this gives you quite a few tools for choosing your own colors, such as an array of colors there. You've got the pencils, you've got a picker there if you want to choose something off your desktop to use that color. And there's a whole host of other tools there. So we'll just use a pencil and I'll just choose red on this occasion. Okay. And let's just run that. So yeah, the yellow text now doesn't really stand out as much as I'd like on the red background. So what I could do is I can also go into the foreground color and we can change that to color literal. I'm going, I'll just choose white. And there you go now we've got a white text and a red background so i hope that's been helpful and thanks for watching